Hello YouTube, this is part 2 of my investigation into the longitudinal electric waves. So, um, that's the old schematic. I ended up getting rid of the antennas. So, no more antennas. No more antennas. We just have this part over here. And, um, first, uh, I have aluminum foil as the first layer. As at the very at the very beginning of the spool, and then I have bi filler, um, 23 and 26 gauge wires, and then on top of that I have 20 gauge wire, wound in three layers, and then um, I'm using the 2N5630 NPN transistor and a 1K potentiometer. I ended up upgrading to um, a really good potentiometer. This one has um, a 10, uh, 10 levels, so you can spin around all the way 10 times. So you can really fine tune your, um, your circuit. And um, I have the ground connection again to my house ground. And we're, we're going to try to run the circuit without house ground and um, I'm going uh, I'm going to use this aluminum foil on on my on my toroid just to pr prove to you guys that there's no um, electromagnetic radiation coming from it. It's going to um, the aluminum foil is going to limit how much is coming out. It will be basically like a Faraday cage. So it's it, we're not getting electromagnetic waves. Okay, so let's turn it on. Okay. Again, as you can see, one wire transmission, power transmission. So what's going on? See, we we, we don't have the um, these coils anymore. So you could say, well, these coils were um, you know e emitting some kind of high frequency electromagnetic signal, like a Tesla coil, and we were getting this effect. But we're we're still getting the same effect without um, without the coils. And um, a, a viewer of my videos um, made a comment that he, he he believes that I'm having a battery inside these um, these um, little sockets. So I'm going to use uh, just my my bare hand and um, show you that it's not a trick. By the way, this is a lot of volts and amps. I'll show you exactly how many volts we're getting. Let's see, single wire power. Okay, let's see. Let's see if I can light this. Um, this, this light bulb. really hard to do it with just okay there we go so okay so right here um, I have um, another light bulb uh, connected across a bridge rectifier so um, I, I used really high frequency diodes for this bridge rectifier I forgot the exact um, diodes that I used them um, if, if you guys are interested I'll tell you the specs for the diodes later, the serial number. So, um, these, uh, this voltmeter is connected across the DC side of the bridge rectifier. So I'm going to turn it off and I'm going to hook up this end to the uh, other end of the bridge rectifier. So we can see how many volts DC will be getting. Okay, so I'll turn it back on. Okay, so light bulb is lit, of course, but let let's see our voltage. Three hundred, three hundred forty-six volts uh, DC, and you you might you you might say, well, that is just uh, a lot of volts, but not a lot of amps. So let let me sh let, let's make some sparks. I'm, I'm gonna show you guys. And there is actually quite a good amount of amps. In here, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. 
Casey, sir. See, I'm shorting out the leads on the DC side. To show you that there's quite a good amount of amps going across this. And um, my power supply again is this uh, 4.9 volts. I'm sorry, I think it's, it's 5.9 volts. 5.9 volts, 400 milliamp Nokia power supply. See the power died. Well, reconnect it. And uh, this effect does not. I just pulled the wire somewhere. Stay tuned, I'm gonna have to fix this. Okay, YouTube, we're back on. I fixed the problem. So we have. 346 volts DC. And um, let's see how many amps we have. This thing will actually measure um, amps, but um, I don't know how accurate it's going to be. Let's see, so we have it set on amps. Two point five amps. Okay. So, um, so none of these effects work if you completely disconnect the ground. So I'm going to uh, turn the circuit off and reconnect it without the ground, and then you'll see the difference. Okay, turn it off. Disconnect the ground. This is um, the bridge rectifier. The way it was connected is uh, one side AC was connected to, to the ground my house ground and the other AC was coming from the toroid from the, uh, from the tertiary winding so we disconnected the ground and we're going to disconnect the ground completely so so we're just gonna have a single wire going to the light bulb without the ground As you can see, the effects are completely gone now. So, okay. Now let's let us reconnect the ground and see if we get our effects back. Okay. So we do get our effects back. So next uh, step is I'm going to wrap up the toroid in aluminum foil to black, block any um, electromagnetic field that might be escaping. Okay, so I wrapped up the toroid in the aluminum foil. And as you can see we still have all the effects. Single wire, power, transmission. So try to explain that one. We don't have any electro electromagnetic field coming out of it. And um, even before I wrapped it in, in aluminum foil, the shape of this toroid uh, pretty much contained all the uh, magnetism inside. So it's causing this light bulb to light up with a single terminal. So um, I'm gonna unscrew this one. Just to show you that it's not a trick. I don't have a battery inside of these. Connected. It's just a single. As you can see, it lights up with just a single, single terminal. And uh, next step is I'm going to wire up these laden jars, and I'll connect the light bulbs to the to the end of the laden jar. And uh, I'm I'm even going to do a couple of them in series, so to show you that this kind of electricity can jump uh, through very um, 
large capacitors without being impeded in any way. So I wired two laden jars to the end terminal of um, of the toroid. The, th the third layer um, um, uh, is is connected to these two laden jars in series. And at the end of the other laden jar, we have a, a light. Let's see if it will um, if it's going to light up. It lights up with me touching the other terminal with my finger. So try explaining that one. Voltage is jumping through two laden jars with just a single connection. Okay YouTube, so I disconnected the laden jars and I hooked up a different kind of light bulb. So this, this light bulb has four um, LEDs in, inside of it, very large LEDs. And as you can see, it lights up without me having my hand anywhere near the, ter the terminals. The LEDs light up. So, um, but it does light up brighter if I touch the other terminal with my finger. And um, I'm gonna uns unscrew this light bulb and show you there is no trick, there's no hidden battery inside of these. The problem arises with measuring this kind of uh, electricity because, um, like I showed you earlier, if you use a bridge rectifier, it, it shows that you have uh, around 300 volts uh, DC. But um, if you don't have a, a bridge rectifier and you're, you're just trying to measure it um, live, you'll see uh, that we'll get some erroneous readings. So I'm going to connect one side of my voltmeter. To, um, to this load and the other side I'm going to connect to ground and then we'll see what, it sh what it's going to show okay let's see see it's jumping all over the place 1.7 3.0 as you can see, it's not it's, it's not going to show you the correct voltage this way. The frequencies are too high. See by here on the frequency, it only says 19, um, 19 hertz, 36 hertz. But see, it's jumping here as well. So I, I don't think that's reliable either. So that's the problem uh, arises is tr trying to measure this kind of... Um, these kind of effects you know, to do for calculation purposes. I wanted to go back to this schematic and point out that I do have um, a layer of aluminum um, aluminum tape uh, as, as, uh, at the very beginning of my spool and then I have my uh, bifiller uh, 20, 23 and 26 gauge and then I have this three layers of 20 gauge this is my output uh, these the bifiller go to the transistor and um, one end of the 20 gauge is grounded and the other end that is that we're uh, hooking up various things to and then on top of that I have um, the uh, aluminum tape once again so all the windings are contained inside of the aluminum tape so um, very curious effects you guys I hope you uh, duplicate this and experiment with this um, piece.